Welcome to another day of our 0 to 10 push-ups three-week challenge. I'm Natalie, I teach the art of hand balancing and let's get started with a warm-up. the arms up high towards the ceiling, really lifting out of the shoulders here, pushing the shoulders up and then take the arms to the side. And one more time, down and reach up, 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 up towards the ceiling and to the side and bring the arms down and one more time, reach up, side, and bring it down and now just reach behind you with the arms warming up the rotation in the spine waking up the upper body okay great and now just interlock the fingers in front and curve your upper back and stay here And release. And now flex the hands here in front of you and push the shoulders front, curve the upper back as much as possible for one. And really imagine you're pushing a wall away. And two. And three. And really round the back as much as possible, bringing the shoulders to the front four. And five. Very good. Okay, great. Meet me on the floor for a wonderful core work out. Let's repeat the exercise we did in the first week here where we just touch the ankles and lift the shoulder blades off the floor. Touch the ankles for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen and twenty and release. Very good. Let's repeat that one more time in a second. And lift the shoulder blades off the floor and touch for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Very good. And come around to your front. And let's lift the arms and the legs together for 20 seconds and lift off for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and release. Take a breather and let's do this one more time for 20 seconds. And lift off for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and release. Very good. Come meet me here in a four point position. Let's just press the fingers in to the floor and rock back and forth, warming up the wrists. Just rocking back and forth. Okay, very good. Now bring the arms into a diagonal here in front of you. Fan the fingers out, all five fingers touching the floor. Those of you who um, practice handstands with me know this wrist strengthening exercise already. So you push yourself up onto five fingers, staying in this diagonal position for 20. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. Okay, great. Meet me standing up next to your special push-up table. Position yourself. Let's uh, try and do 20 repetitions this time. That's five more than yesterday. And place the hands on your table. Step the feet a bit wider than hip width apart and into a diagonal here shoulders pushed down and let's push the table away for 20 and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and ten more eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. And take a breather. Just swing the arms a little bit before we do another set. And place the hands one more time on the table. Step the feet apart, slight angle, diagonal angle here in the body and push the table away for one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Very good. Excellent. Fantastic. Meet me on the floor here now for push-ups on your knees, arms wide. And place the hands a bit wider than your yoga mat, wider than your shoulders. And bring the elbows out to the side here with me for 15. And one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. Okay, great. Very good. So you see it doesn't have to like, um, you don't have to necessarily touch the, the floor with your nose. It's very important though that you keep a good technique in all of these push-ups. Let's do another set of 15 in a second here. In this beautiful sunshine that is visiting us here today, surprisingly, in London. And one more time, place the arms wider than your shoulders and bend now with me for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, okay, great, very good. And reach the arms behind you here just to stretch the front of the shoulder line a little bit before we do our next big task here. Because now next, we are going to take the mini push-up on the knees a little bit further towards an actual push-up on your knees because that's what's coming next. Now, before we do a full push-up, in a plank position, we will aim at doing a push-up here in a diagonal with the body in a complete diagonal position here, right? So adding load onto the arms is all about this angle, the angle that your body is in, because the more weight, obviously, your knee knees take here in the four-point position, the easier it is. And the further you place the hands away here from the knees, the harder it is. So what we're now trying to do is 
find the position that you usually do the four point position mini push ups in. And then bring the hands one hand width further to the front so that your body is in a slight diagonal here. A little bit further front than you usually are. And let's try to do 10 push ups like this, keeping in mind to push the shoulders away from the ears and keeping the ribs in. Let's try 10. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Very good. So you feel how this is already a little bit harder than everything we've done um, before and how this is coming closer now to the actual push-up position where you really do need to keep your elbows in and close to your body. Excellent. So to finish off today, let's just do this one more time. Place the hands, so we again take it here from your four-point position, a little bit further front. Let's do ten push-ups here for one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. Fantastic. Very good. That was... That was hard. Be proud of yourself. Like that is very close to our real push-up position. Um, keep that in mind for tomorrow where we will extend this into a full diagonal push-up on the knees. And next week we are going to actually do proper push-ups in our last week of the challenge. Thank you very much for practicing with me today and I shall see you again tomorrow.